Yeah? Tell everybody how old you are. Four. Yeah. And now Four. you're a man, right? Show us your muscles. Wow. Yeah. That's your elbow, man. <laughs> <laughs> you better stop covering your father. <laughs> now, my name is Mr. John, and I'm very happy to be here for Adrian's party to show Mr. you guys John. all these cool animals that we have. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to tell you all about them. We're going to get to pet them. Yes. If you want. Do you want to pet them? Yes. All right. What about Adrian? Do you want to pet Adrian? No. no. Yes. He's not even an animal. What do you mean he's not an animal? He is a wild animal, isn't he? Yes. Are you a wild animal sometimes? Never? What about your sister? Yes. Oh, look, he says, yeah, yeah. Yes. Now, yes. when the animals come out, I'm going to show them to you and tell you about them. These are really nice animals. Don't be afraid of them. They're not going to do anything bad. They're not going to do a poopy on your head. No, because they don't even jump on your head. Now, these animals live at our place, and that's why I know them so well. Some of them were animals that people had for pets, or they were born at our place, or a zoo. But these are animals that are good for petting. What if you see animals that you don't know? Should you touch them? No. No. You don't want to touch animals you don't know, like a dog or a cat. That you don't know where the owner is or some strange animal because they might have yucky germs or they could hurt you. Those are wild animals, right guys? But these are our pets and they're nice. That's why we're going to get to pet them. So you never go near those wild animals. But girls, never go near or talk to boys because they carry germs too. Right, right. And if you think I am lying, talk to your dad. He will tell you the same thing. Now, when the animals come out, you're sitting really good. This is what we're going to do. And then, when the animals come out, what's the other thing we have to do? Be quiet. Yeah, if we're nice and quiet, then that's going to make the animals happy. Now, if there's an animal that you don't want to pet, you don't have to pet it. You can just say no thank you, and you'll kiss it on the lips instead. All right, no. Is that true? Never. Uh, Never. Oh, I'm giving you a kiss on the butt. Now, all right, now listen. No, it's <laughs> Okay. All right, now, after we're done, one more thing i got to tell you. When we're done, what are we going to wash? Our hands. Yes, got to wash our hands. So don't get up and eat or drink anything while we're petting the animals. After we wash, then we can do that later. We're going to have a lot of caffeine and sugar later. Yeah. Do you guys want coffee? No. No. They're not giving you coffee at this party? No. What kind of party is this? Coffee. I like right. coffee. Now, and it's a thing. Now, do you, you guys are okay? Like, you definitely want to pet Adrian, though? Yeah. You're okay with that? No. All right. Now, all right, Adrian, who picked out all the animals that we're seeing today? Who picked them out? You did. Oh, yeah! Nice. And then who gets to pet the animals first? Maybe my little brother. Yeah. He gets to pet first because, you know, it's his birthday. His parents are paying for it. All right. Now, are you ready? Okay. Now, the first one we're going to see, I brought this really soft animal that Adrian Loves. A what is it? A chinchilla. Yeah, is this your favorite? Okay, now I brought one of my favorite chinchillas. Her name is Whisper. <laughs> joking. I was joking. That wasn't even my favorite. Yeah, you're choking. Right. Now, here she is. Say hi, Whiskers. Isn't she awesome? Now, I love chinchillas, and you know what? Of all the animals we have, everybody picks our chinchillas. They love them. And they're so soft when you pet one, if you want to do it, when we do, do pet her, she's so soft you can't even feel her. Her favorite place to be is up in the mountains. That's where they live. What's it like up in those mountains, Adrian? Oh, yeah. So if you're running around naked, you're going to freeze your dirt. So her fur keeps her nice and warm. But it also helps her hide really good. Who likes to play hide and seek? You guys play hide and seek? Of course you do. But you know what? Sometimes animals have to do this so that other animals can't see them or eat them. So if she sits on a rock, what color is she, Adrian? Gray, right? She looks just like one of those rocks. If there's an animal looking for her, are they going to see her or is she going to blend in? Blend in. Yep, what's that called? Cam. Uh, Come on. 
camouflage, like our mat. So she can hide really good so other animals can't see her, but if they try to grab her, once again, her fur's gonna save her because she's so soft, she's a little bit slippery, actually, because she's so soft. Could an animal hold on to her, or is it gonna help her slip away? She'll slip away. If they try to bite her, they're gonna end up with a big hair ball in their mouth because her fur comes out that easy. Now her favorite time to come out and play is not in the daytime. When is it? Night time. Night time. Who knows that word for those animals? Nice, what's your name? Kyle. Kyle, you're gonna be nocturnal when you're a teenager. <laughs> Which means you'll be active at night, you'll do nothing during the day. And Kyle, somehow you will suddenly know more than your parents do. But that's being a teenager, right guys? Now, our chinchilla does this for survival, but it's so dark at nighttime, it's hard to find her way around. So she feels her way around. With, her name is Whiskers. What does she use? Whiskers. Her whiskers. Good job, Kyle. Now, who is going to give her a little pet? All right, now let me pick somebody to go first. Uh, can I pick guys? <laughs> How about... Pick the good. Gosh. No, not you. I <laughs> did that kid's party last week. She's very bad, too. Yep, you had the right out. <laughs> hey, I was only joking. I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> All right, now, doesn't matter. Let me just pick anybody. How about you? All right, you come up. What's your name? Adrian. Nah, not Adrian. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, now, you ready to give her a nice little pet? You know how to pet her nice and soft, right? You know, Whiskers loves to be pet nice, but she didn't come here for deep tissue massage therapy, okay? So you don't have to be like, cool, I can feel her bones. Right? She's a little pet, ready? Okay, so you go. Oh, my God. Oh, Isn't that soft? Now she's so soft. Go ahead, give her a little pet. Some kids, some kids freak out because they can't handle the soft. Hmm. You think you can handle the soft? Yeah. You want the softness? Yeah. You can't handle the softness. <laughs> Do you remember that movie, Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna pet the chinchilla and. Uh, Oh, I've got to try it. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so soft. <laughs> All right, now, go one more time. Give her a little pet. Did we get a picture with you and Whiskers together? We're going to take a picture. We'll go right over there. Adrian, don't bite it. They'll say cheese. Nice. Good job, Adrian. All right, now, who else is going to give her a little pet? Do you want to pet her? Don't be afraid. She's very nice. Really? Careful, All right. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead, Good. Nice. Oh, I'm going to be just I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, who's this little guy over here? It's all right. You can, you can bypass him. No. <laughs> 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 Isn't that amazing, Kyle? He's so soft. He's so soft. Go ahead, girls. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, awesome. Oh, he's such a good teacher, too. Want to pet her, girls? Go ahead, give her a nice little pet. Awesome. All right, come on. No? I thought you were going to this one. All right, now. We are going to do something oh my God, with really whiskers happen? before she goes back. We're going to give her <laughs> not a kiss. Oh, uh, your sister knows. Tell us again. A dust bath. A dust bath. She's oh. so cute when she does this. We have a special powdery dust that we put in a bathtub for her. And this is a lot like the dust in the mountains where they live. So we're going to give her a little bath. Oh my God. Now, people ask me why a golden bathtub? Because these are the same bathtubs they use in the wild. All right, Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, we're going to put her in there. She's going to roll around, right, Adrian? Then she's going to get the dust all over it. Then she's going to shake it up, and it's going to pull off all the yucky dirt. 
This is the it's only the way chinchillas take a bath. If I gave her a water bath, would that be good for her? No. She can't get wet or she'll get sick. Now, we're going to put her in her cute little bathtub. And come on, Whiskers, you're very excited here. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Oh! She doesn't want to take a bath. Yeah, yeah, usually she does. All right, now, there she goes. No! Okay. Yeah! yeah. Don't scare her. Just watch her. Watch what she does. She's going to roll around. She's going to get the dust on her fur, right, Adrian? Then when she shakes it off, it'll pull up all the dirt. And that's going to make her soft and clean the way she is. Like, just going to look better. Now, Whiskers is a full-grown chinchilla. She's an adult. She's a grown-up. She doesn't do this, but sometimes when our baby chinchillas are in the bathtub, they do a poopy in the bathtub. <laughs> now, raise your hands. Come on, everybody. Put your hands up. If you ever pooped in the bathtub. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think he raised his hand, your friend over there. I told you, I don't know him. <laughs> All right. Now, we're going to take her out, and we're going to put Adrian in the little golden bathroom. Oh, <laughs> nah, you won't fit in there. You'll break in there. But you're not going to poop in there, are you? Nice check. All right. Now, was that the cutest little chinchilla? Yes. Do you see why Adrian loves that chinchilla so much? Yes. And who pet? Oh, Gideon. Our, what's Gideon. your name? Gideon. Gideon. Gideon, you want to pet our little chinchilla here? This is Whiskers. Gideon. You're just in time. I'm really happy that Adrian picked this one because this guy's one of my favorites. His name is Jerry, and he's called, he's got a weird name, he's got a weird tongue too. He's called a blue tongue skink. Say it. Blue tongue skink, not skink. Someone say that's like that. <laughs> skink, skink. Say it right. Skink. It's important. Okay. Now. All right. Now. All right. Here we go. Let's see our little buddy Jerry. Oh, yeah. Now, I love this little guy. He almost looks like a rubber toy, right, Amy? And I see you sticking your tongue out just like he does. When he sticks his tongue out, it's a lot like when a snake sticks his tongue out. What does a snake do with their tongue when they're sticking it out? Why are they sticking it out? It's helping them smell. Jerry does the same exact thing. If he sticks his tongue out, it's helping him smell. No, he's not poisonous, but I'm glad you said that. Because Jerry would love his enemies to think that he's poisonous. In Australia, where he would live, he hangs out on the forest floor, and his stripes or bands, they help him blend in really good. Did you see it? Yeah. You saw it, Adrian? Look at that. Now, when he sticks that tongue out just a little bit, it's helping him smell. But if I were a scary creature that wanted to eat him, and he wanted to look bigger and scarier, what would he use? His smell. His Tom. Yes, but would he make it little or would he make it big? Big. Yep, he can big. flatten it out and make it look a lot bigger than it is now. So here he is, he's just sitting there, and then an animal comes up to him, and he's like, ah! <laughs> Sorry, are you okay? So, was that pretty scary, guys? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Now, Jerry eats a lot. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now, when Jerry, when Jerry eats his food, he likes to eat like snails and worms. He'll eat bugs. He'll eat all kinds of stuff. And sometimes he even eats cat food and dog food. Now, do you want to see what Jerry feels like? Yeah. Is he going to be slimy or dry? Dry. 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 Even though he looks shiny, he's actually really dry. He feels a lot like corn on the cob. Now, Adrian, come on over. Corn on the cob. Give him a little pet. Patrick, Isn't that cool? Now, take a bite. <laughs> it's like corn. Now, if somebody bit him on the tail, you know what happens? Would his tail stick out? Yeah, yeah, stick your tongue out. Adrian, look at it. Stick your tongue out like Adrian, you always have your tongue out. You always have your tongue out. Yeah, he always does. 
the logo? You can't perform under pressure. Now, who <laughs> wants one of these for a pet? Oh, when I was a kid, she I wanted one, one so bad. She and won't if your let me mom get and dad love you, they will get you one. <laughs> <laughs> right, Adrian? Yeah. Adrian, right. did mommy allow you to have that as a pet? No. 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 <laughs> I wouldn't mind, Mom. Adrian. All right. Next High five, bud. Awesome. <laughs> Now, we're going to let your friends pet. You can take a seat right over there, and I'm going to come around so everybody can check out my buddy Jerry. Do I have All right, what's your name? Lucas? Right on his back, Lucas. There you go. Good job. Come on, guys, give him a little pet. What do you think, slimy or not? Dry. It's dry. It's dry. It's dry. It's no, you're not going to bed? All right, it's okay. No, no. You're going to pet him? Are you 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 it's cool. Okay, yeah. now we gotta say goodbye to Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of sad, but you know what, guys? It's this okay. Is so sad. I don't want to do this. I need Adrian to go back in his cage. Say goodbye to Adrian. <laughs> goodbye, Adrian. <laughs> so sad. Isn't it sad? No. No. <laughs> But listen to me, guys. It's kind of gross. Because sometimes when I take him out, he eats like a pig. Because he is a pig. Who wants to see a little piggy? All right, now, he's, he's actually a mini pig. People want to, want to get a pig called a, a teacup pig or a micro pig, but there's no pigs that grow that big. They're going to get this pig. Maybe a little smaller. Some people buy those little pigs and they end up with giant pigs. So is this a really good pet or what? Yeah. He's a cool animal. But I don't know if he would be a great pet for most people. I do love this guy. Yeah. All right. Now, this is Hamlet. Say hi, Hamlet. Hi, Hamlet. You can call him Gammy, but don't call him Ham. <laughs> Uh, now, Hammy, Hammy is always hungry. He's a pig. Now, let's give him some bacon bits, okay, guys? Oh, oh, I'm kidding. I'm joking. All right, I thought you would have loved that, man. All right. Now, now this, this little guy, his name is Hamlet, as you know, but he's not our only pig. We have another one, Aiden, and her name is Pepsi. I got Hamlet when he was a baby and I raised him. He's getting close to three years old, but he can still grow just a little bit more. So he's still a mini pig, but that's how big a mini pig can get. Sometimes bigger. Now they love to dig with their what? Nose. He's got tusks too, you're right. But his nose is really good for digging. So he'll push up the dirt, he'll find all kinds of stuff under there, roots and bugs and anything. So he'll eat all kinds of stuff. Now, Hamlet is, like I said, one of our pigs, and I raised him from a baby. But you know what, Adrian? We have another pig. Her name is Pepsi. She's even nicer than Hamlet, believe it or not. Oh, yeah, I love Pepsi. Oh, Pepsi. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm talking about our pig, not the drink. Okay, guys. But listen, Pepsi, when we got her, somebody had her for a pet and they brought her back to the pet store and they left her there. And she had no home. So we adopted her because we wanted to get another pig and we wanted to give a piggy a home that needed one. So when we got Pepsi, the people that had her before us, they fed her a lot. And I don't know how to say this, but when we got her, she was very. Porky. <laughs> so we gave her 
we gave her better food, lots of exercise, and now Pepsi looks amazing. Now we call her Diet Pepsi. <laughs> now this guy, I love him. But this is what he does that's so annoying. You know what he does, Adrian? When he's in the car, like when he came here for your party, he was so good. He didn't make a noise. But when I leave, oh, it's so annoying. This little piggy goes, Whee! all the way home. Now that is annoying. I love that whole time. You know that piggy that all the way home? Now I go hiking with Hamlet. You know how people go walking with their dogs in the woods? I bring my pig, he follows me for miles. And he listens better than any dog. Now pigs are very smart, and most people figure they're about fourth smartest animal. That includes whales and dolphins and dogs and um, Donald Trump. No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. That's the other thing. <laughs> All right. Now listen, if you want to pet him, just pet him nice. He feels really good. It's a little scratchy. Some kids tell me it feels like their dad's beard. Uh, some kids feel, say he feels like straw or hair gel or something like that. But he feels nice. He, for a pig, I will tell you this, he's very soft for a pig. And I'll tell you the secret. The secret is Pantene Pro V shampoo and conditioner twice a month. It makes a difference. Now, come on over here, Adrian. You're going to give him a little pet, right, bud? Yeah. I'll give him some food. And then you stand right in front of him and pet him right on his back. Give him a little pet. There you go. Isn't he cool? Now, who do you think weighs more, you or him? <laughs> what do you think, the piggy? Yeah, and he's a big pig, right? <laughs> do you like him? Because he feels scratchy? Tell everybody. Yeah. Does he feel scratchy? No, he's not too bad, right? He's a good boy. I feel like your hair sometimes. Do you put gel in your hair? Yes. I do. Me and my brother do. All right, now the rest of you guys, you want to pet Hammy too? Yes. Yeah. All right, here it comes. Good job, Adrian. Do you want to pet him? Some more? Yeah. Here, he's gonna come back. Come on, bud. Go ahead, pet him. Pet him. Nice. Good job, guys. Here he comes. Go ahead, guys. Such a good pig. All right, now, everybody say bye, Yanny. Bye, Yanny. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh. 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 All right. And you know what? People think I taught him that. He figured that out all by himself. He knows when he hears that, it's time to go back in. The snake? Oh, Mom said no snakes. You didn't pick any snakes. No snakes at this party, guys. <laughs> now, let's see here. We're going to see how about a little baby alligator. Now, here he is. Now, this is Rex. Say hi to Rex, guys. Now, Rex is going to get a lot bigger than this. And he's a boy alligator. Which ones are bigger and stronger? The girls or the boys, Adrian? The girls. Which ones? It's the boy, but which ones are smarter? The boys. You know what? The girls are not smarter. They just make better decisions. That means they're smarter. It doesn't matter. We don't care about that. They make better decisions. Now, when he was a baby, when he was a little baby, he was, well, he hatched out of an egg, right, Adrian? And his mom actually made, would have made a nest for him. So she lays all her eggs in a pile, she puts all the leaves and mud and stuff over the top of them, and she hides them so other animals won't hurt the babies, right? And then she stays near that nest, and if somebody comes near that nest and tries to steal one of her eggs, she's going to rip their tushy off. <laughs>
right? And if somebody messes with you, your mom rip your tushy off, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Sit down. Anyone ever seen your mom rip somebody's tushy off at the supermarket? Oh, The mom alligator. One day after waiting Jacob. for like three months, do you know what happens? She's going to hear a special noise like this. <coughs> and that little noise is the babies. They're telling their mom, come on, we gotta get out, we gotta get out. <coughs> so she starts to open up the nest and scratch it open with her claws, but she can't pick them up with her hands. Where does she carry them? The mouth. In, her mouth. in her mouth. It looks like she's eating them. <laughs> he looks like it looks like a toy. He looks fake. Isn't that cool? They're gonna see that at Chuck E. Cheese, baby. <laughs> Alright, now, everybody say goodbye to Rex. Bye! So, Adrian, do you want to see? I want to see you. What was your favorite so far? Um, I, no, I knew you were going to say that. Alright, now, let me put little Rex back in here so that we can see who our next creature is. Now, this one, it could be spiky. If it rolled up in a ball, but he's not going to be too It's a hedgehog. What? It's a hedgehog. hedgehog. A baby one. Now, it's not a baby, though. It's a this big This hedgehog's one. all grown up, but it doesn't get very big. It's called an African pygmy hedgehog. You know those pygmy goats that they grow bigger stay smaller? They stay smaller. They're not too big. Pygmy, <laughs> pygmy means small, right, Amy? So our little pygmy not hedgehog me. might be Adrian. Oh, hey, Adrian. <laughs> Now, Adrian, let's see our little hedgehog. Now, this is Spike. Oh, isn't that the cutest little animal? Yeah. Say hi, Spike. Hi, Spike. Now, I'm going to put him down. He's not very fast, but then he doesn't have to be. Because if somebody tried to eat him, he would just roll up the ball and stick out all of his spikes. But his spikes are really his. Hair. hair! It's just pointy hair. Now, yes. Pointy hair! Uh, he, uh, <laughs> can he change color? Oh, no, no. He can't change color. Like when your parents get mad like that? <laughs> no! Don't watch the TV, right? Oh, well, you know what? There's different colored hedgehogs. Some of them are more gray. This one's a much lighter, a blonder one. And some are all white too, but in the wild they're usually gray, like you said. Yes. What's that? DJ, he can change color. No. Pet what? Pet who? Oh, you missed that? Oh, I'll put it down again later. Okay. Now, he may look very cute, but this animal is very tough. He can eat scorpions. And very dangerous snakes, little poisonous snakes, and he doesn't even care. So is he wimpy or tough? Tough. Oh, very tough. Like now, voice. if you pet him, it feels pretty cool. Remember that the pig felt a little scratchy? Yes. Some kids tell me that pig feels like their dad's beard. Some kids tell me the hedgehog feels like their mom's legs. <laughs> Don't say that, even if you think that. All right. Now, all right. Now, our little hedgehog is doing the pooping. All right. Good job. Now, when you pet them, just go this way. You don't want to pet them backwards. That'll be too prickly. So, are you going to pet Spice? All right. That's right. Mama, you got to go with his quills. Oh, my God. He's nice. He's so cute. Look at that little tushy right there. Good job. Awesome, guys. It feels like rice. It's a yummy. Good job, girls. Nice. Want to pet him? this little one? Good job, guys. He's so cute. Aww. Alright, now listen. If you guys want to see it Spike will wave goodbye, let's see if it wave goodbye. Ready? Watch.
Let's see if it waved goodbye. <laughs> Now, Spike likes to do a lot of sleeping during the day. So when does he wake up? At night. He loves to wake up at nighttime. He's another nocturnal animal. I'm a bat. Like a bat? All right. Now, let me see here. I got to do something because that hedgehog did a little poopy on my hand. But you know what? We're going to see. What's your name again? Your name. What's your name? DJ. DJ. DJ, you missed the petting on that little piggy, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So I'm going to bring him out so you can get another pet. Get a chance to pet, okay? All right, are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. 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 Try, to, <laughs> try to make a big deal like when he comes out like, yeah! Yeah! yeah. All right. Whoa, look at these guys! <laughs> Did you guys see this animal? <laughs> All right, DJ. DJ. Give him a little pet, DJ. <laughs> now, oh, easy, guys. On top, on top. DJ, look over here. All right, All right, now. Say bye, Annie. Bye, Annie. Go. Okay, now you have to be really quiet because we're going to have an animal that Listen, listen. This thing doesn't work that great when the batteries are home. All right, Adrian, the guys, listen. Hello. Hello. Now listen. I love you. I, I love you. Aww. Oh my gosh! Now, now she's so nice. And you know what? Sometimes birds can be very loud. And they're pretty messy animals too. If you see a bird in a cage, they throw their food everywhere. If this bird were in the jungle eating her food, she would throw a lot of food on the ground. And then all that food would be dinner for the other animals. So when animals like birds are messy, they help the other animals get their dinner. But when she eats the fruits and she swallows all the pits and seeds, they're going to be in her tummy, right guys? And then she's going to fly away with all those seeds in her tummy. Look at those wings, guys. And then she's going to fly everywhere and then all of those seeds are going to come back out because one cockatoo does a lot of cockapoo. <laughs> so do the seeds die or do they grow? Grow. Yep. Now yeah, who wants to see some seeds fly, baby? <laughs> this is your kind of party, baby. All right. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see, so I'm going to bring her a little closer. Uh, I know where you're Do you guys want to pet her? Yeah! I don't know why kids do this, but when they pet her, they... They tell me... They tell me it feels like feathers. They're all feathers! Aww. Now, do you want to talk to her, Adrian? Yeah. Alright, come on over here, Adrian. I don't want to. Shh! Now, oh! Now, first say hello. Hi. Say hello. <laughs> now say, go ahead, say it. No, no, you can't be like, ah, you know. Like, you like mom and dad, like when they say, they're like, I know. Right? Like, come on, go, she said it. I love you. I love you. I love you. Feels like feathers! <laughs> Hello! Hello! Alright, now who's gonna give her a little pet? I'm gonna go all the way around. Good job, Adrian. 
Carmine. His name is Carmine. Say his name. Carmine. No, you're not saying it right. Listen to me. You have to do this right. It's like this. Listen. His shell gets bigger. It's part of his backbone and his ribs. You know where your ribs are in your tummy and your backbone, right? That's all part of it. Now let's see if he's hungry. Are you ready to feed him? Take a seat right here, okay, Adrian? Now I'm going to peel the banana a little bit, and you're going to help me feed him, okay? It's a lot of fun. Now watch. Oh, look, look, he sees it. Now come on. Now, now hold the banana. Come on, we're going to do it together. And then give him about 45 minutes, and he'll get it. <laughs> now watch, he's going to take a bite, but he doesn't have any teeth, so watch what he does. He's going to take a bite with his beak, like the bird had a beak, right? Now let's see if he'll take a bite. Oh, there you go. Nice t Right there for our buddy Carmine. There you go. He even eats the peel sometimes, too. All right. Now, Adrian, you take a bite. Five second rule. Uh, should I eat it? So I'm going to eat it. Do you want me to? It's going to be an additional cost of $4.95. See if your parents want to upgrade to the platinum bag. All right. Now, now listen. Don't bang on his shell because he can feel it, right, Adrian? And the best way to pet him is nice and soft, just like all the other animals. But don't touch him by his feet because those feet are pretty strong. And if your finger's in there, it's a little pinchy. And sometimes when I pick him up, it squeezes my finger a little bit. But do I cry like a baby? Nope. I cry like a man. You cry. What do you mean? Hey, DJ, what are you talking about? Do you like crying a baby? Yes! Do you believe you? Do you believe you? Baby girl. Baby girl? Thanks a lot. Oh, I didn't even take this much abuse from the kids in Brooklyn today. Alright, now, are you ready? Now go ahead, give him a little pet right on top and tell everybody what it feels like. Yeah, it's pretty tough, right? It's like a rock. If somebody tried to bite that shell, I bet you they would break their teeth, right, bud? All right, so can we have your friends pet him, too? All right, here he comes. By the way, Carmine is known as a red foot tortoise, and he lives in the South American jungle. Go ahead, pet him, guys. No, that's the, the island. This guy comes from South America. Sorry. This guy is about 47 years old. And we've had him for 27 of those years. How can you uh, gauge that? Well, you know what? From the previous owner who had him, and then we had it on our years, but they, they didn't have him from when he was a little baby. So I, I'm, I'm estimating he could actually be a little older. But you can't count anything to tell how old they are. You're going to pet him, girls? Nice job. All right. Say goodbye, Carmine. Bye. All right. Now, do you want to see another animal? Now, I couldn't bring them in right away. 
I have them in my car. We're going to see. Hey, that's really small. If you were that small, Adrian, your parents would have lost you in the couch. But the mommy doesn't lose her baby. Where does she put her baby? In her pouch. It's a pocket on her tummy, right? A pouch. So the baby grows in there, the joey. And then after six months, the baby got so big, does the mom leave him in? Or does she kick him out? She kicked him out. It's sad, but one day your mom's going to kick you out too. It's not funny. 45 years is going to go by like that. Now, are you guys ready? Yeah. Shh. Let me get her food ready. I'm going to give her a little bit of uh, this food here too. Now, shh. Let's see if she's going to come out. She's such a good girl. I remember when she was much smaller, but now she's going to be so big one day. Good girl. Now, here she is. Say hi, Penelope. Hi. No, 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 stay over here. Have some more food. Okay. Now, just let her settle down. I don't let her hop around while she's doing shows. You know, she has to stay here with me. Now, when she does hop, don't hop, oh, don't hop. Please. Now, if she does hop, that's how she gets away. And how many feet does she hop with? Four or two? Two. Yep, and what else helps her hop? The tail. Yep, the tail is just as important for balance. Good job, Kyle. Kyle, are you looking for a job? <laughs> Talk to your mom. You'll get a company car and everything. Now, she will balance with her tail. She's going to jump with her tail. She even leans back on her tail, too. So if she has to stand up really big, it's like extra arm there. Now, Penelope has her pouch right here. She's not old enough to have a baby yet. But if she does become a mommy, when she's a little taller, she will carry her Joey in her pouch too. Now, the baby wallabies, the Joey's, what's that? I don't want to pay anymore. Oh, you don't want to pay anymore? <laughs> not even this one? <laughs> Oh, she's nice. She's nice. Do you want to hear what, how the babies in the pouch listen to their mommy? You know what they do? Shh. The baby, when the mom has the baby in the pouch and the baby comes out, when she wants to tell the baby to go back in, Adrian, do you know what she says? She goes like this. Did you hear that little noise? Yeah. And that tells the baby to hop back in the pouch. Now your mom's not going to sit there. She's not going to go. <laughs> so she has a different noise. Anybody ever heard this noise? She'll go like this. She'll go, get in the car now! <laughs> Do you know that noise? No. Yes, you do. Come on, who knows that noise? Yes, Kyle, come do. on, yes. <laughs> yes. You ever see like veins bulging out of her neck and laser veins from her eyes? Right, guys? Yes, Kyle. <laughs> Super mom. Now, who wants to pet Penelope? I'm going to hold her, and when I hold her, you guys give her a little pet. All right. Now, shh. Adrian. Adrian. Come on over here. You can just get her picture. Just sit next to her. You don't have to pet her. So we get her picture. You don't have to pet her. You don't have to pet her. No. Do not pet her. All right. No. Sit down, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to that mean man over there now. That's my puppy. I'm All right, I'm going to bring her around. So if you guys want to pet her, then we're going to all pet her when I hold up. When I hold her up. Okay. Now, here I go. You're such a good girl. We have another one that's all white. Is an albino. So cool. His name is Winston. <laughs> All right, don't eat too much. You're going to get a tummy ache. Okay, come on. Save room for dinner. All right. Now, I'm going to hold her, and you guys are going to pet her right back here. Now, guys, earlier today, I had one of our wallabies out at a show, and I was having the kids pet, and I got a little upset because one of the kids, when they reached over to pet the wallaby, he touched my hand and they said, ew, gross. <laughs> <laughs> that was not cool. <laughs> All right, now, you're going to pat her? Stand up, guys. Stand up. Stand up, man. Stand up, man. Right right there you go. DJ? Go ahead.
she is. She's getting big. What are you standing all the way over there for? <laughs> You're getting farther and farther away. Oh, she is. She's so sweet, too. All right, now, say goodbye to you. Was the chinchilla still your favorite? Yeah? High five. Awesome, bud. Ow! <laughs> All right. Now, watch out. Good girl. No, no, no. Stay in there. There you go. You got it. Good girl.